So, Flatty, you started your second spell at Charlton Town yesterday. Yeah. How are you feeling to be back here? Uh, I'm buzzing, absolutely delighted. I think everybody knew how much I uh, enjoyed my time here the last time. And uh, when the opportunity arose for me to come back here, it was a, a no, but I didn't have to think twice. I was straight, straight away, I was down to Wolves to sign the papers and get up here um, ready for the first day yesterday. It feels like you've never been away, but in, in reality it was a whole season after yeah. leaving. How, how did that season go for you? Uh, I'm not going to lie, it was probably a hard six months. Um, at the start of last season it was quite, the Wolves were in quite transition, like my parent club, and um, there was talk of coming back here to start with, but um, because the change in management there it, uh, didn't work out and I didn't really do much for uh, six months, but then obviously I went on loan to Barrow uh, for six months, played 25 games, which is uh, was a good experience for me, and uh, I enjoyed it. And there's more games under my belt. They had options this season, but why Charlton Town? Uh, purely one for my feelings towards the club. I I got some great memories, and uh, I think a lot of the club, and I know a lot of people here that uh, have become friends for that I've kept in touch with during last season. So um, as soon as I knew, obviously, that uh, Cheltenham were interested, I, there was only one place I wanted to be, really. Knowing sort of half the squad and all, all of the staff, does that make it easier for you? Or does that make it harder? To, you've, got, you've got to work even harder than you did a year ago? Uh, no, I think, I, think it, I think it's easier because obviously I, I can um, relate to different people because it's all about building relationships on the pitch. And when you know some people... Uh, it obviously helps during the games, so um, yeah. I, regardless of if I would, didn't know anybody or if I did knew, did do know them, I would still work just as hard. You know what I mean? And that's what the next five weeks for to uh, work hard, ready for the first game. Looking forward to working with Brookie again. Yeah, he's. Uh, I, I spoke to him a couple of times during the summer, and it's nice this time now. Obviously, we had a couple of months uh, working the last time, but now we've got a, a sustained period that we can just crack on and. Anything he's got to say or help me, I'll, I'll be most grateful and, um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Yeah, having that season-long loan, it's, almost, it's basically like signing for a new club for a whole season, isn't it? It's like one-year contract. Is that going to help you, do you think, this year? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it, no, it's not. You haven't got anything in the back of the mind saying what's going to happen or anything like that. I can just go on the pitch and let the football do the talking. And when you're at ease and you're not thinking about other things, that's when you play best on the pitch. So... Uh, yeah, I'm really glad that it's been a season long. What are you hoping for from the season? What are your aims? Uh, well, I've had uh, my aims or the team's aims. Both. Um, I had many conversations with the gaffer like before I signed, and he was ambitious about he want, really wants to have a, a go this year. And like I said in my interview <coughs> a couple of days ago, when this we saw when we got promoted, when the club unites with the fans, it, we can be a big force. And um, we need them, and they they're going to need us, and we need to be together. And if we get, we need to get off to a good start, uh, hit the ground running. And who knows? After ten games, if we're right up there, then the momentum keeps going. And for myself personally, I just want to kind of do what I've done the last time I come here, just be myself and try and impose myself on the on the game and show the fans what I can do, and just be consistent and hopefully. That's what I'll be. But on behalf of everyone in the club, welcome back. Cheers, thank you.